Hello friends, this is Coldrun. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, where we are, in, we are here in the Fell Court of Troia, ready to continue with the 6.2 MSQ. I apologize for um, a, a little bit sparse videoage of, of late uh, with the MSQ here. I've been meaning to get to it, and I wanted to get to it, but I've just been, uh, I've been wor a combination of uh, work, outside stuff, and also Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Uh, a game that I've been trying to finish up because it's about to die and leave forever with no way to play it offline. Um, so that's why I've been a little bit off. Anyway, Varshan. Shadowed remnants. Varshan wears a look of quiet determination. The warding scale exhibits no change. It should be safe to remain here and begin our search. But with her now, I would sense Aj Ajdaya if she were were she remotely near, but there is nothing. Might you not call to her? Let her know you have come. Alas, this vessel is not capable of calling across vast distances. For that I require my true form. And even were it possible, a dragon's call is born upon ether. It is liable to draw more void scent to us. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I see. Yeah, I don't know... She's somewhere in the entire world, so I don't know how we get her. In any case, there's little exploration to be done while we are confined to this isolated isle. I propose we begin learning what we can from the castle's occupants. An understanding of their ways may prove useful to our cause. Very well. Let's hope a few of them are capable of speech. All right, let's meet the void. West, uh, this is this is quite exciting. Feral void scent. <laughs> the creature snarls and glares at you. It is unlikely you will learn anything from it. I guess I kind of I I don't know how it would understand me, but I guess that's the problem. Watchful void scent. What enticing ether you have. Give me some. Give me some. No. <laughs> Aw, if only I were stronger, I'd be able to eat you. It's the kind of world this... Does it have a head on its head? It does have a head on its head. Fine, fine. I'll find someone else to eat. While able to communicate, this one seems to think only of feeding. A lot of them seem to think only of feeding. I wonder, I just, I thought this was just a shaggy beast. This is a, this is like a long haired head, isn't it? Oh, that's creepy as hell. I love it. How's your work coming along, Ishtola? Like the prevailing tongue in Nordvrent, the language of this world bears a resemblance to our own. It may be assumed that they share a common ancestor. Look at your pretty face. All tooths. Or loin void scent. The mistress's eyes are beauteous, sublime. To bask in her gaze is bliss. But now she's gone. Never again will I feel her gaze. No mistress, no orders. What am I to do now? So, they're very hierarchical. Hmm. And fearful void scent. Which is the coolest friggin model around i serve i obey please don't eat me yeah again very the strong rule a dragon what's that does it taste good i don't know anything about it don't know about anything but the one we caught recently they seem to know lots we threw them in the dungeon but clever ones are tasty they might have already been eaten you've learned all you can from the void sense so the dungeon yeah, so we gotta we gotta check out the dungeon. Understood. Uh, I guess understood. Who did you capture? I'm trying to think. What clever one would you have met that you captured? I was thinking like Golbez, but like. Golbez wouldn't be captured. I mean, not not by them. 
I have nothing to share. While those I approached had no will to fight, neither there were they capable of holding a conversation worth the name. My experience was much the same. Lower rung void scent tend to have lower intelligence, would seem. Pity Scarmiglione is dead. He was talkative, at least. He was talkative, but it was a lot of hissy. He was having a lot of hissing. What of you? A clever void sent in the dungeon, you say? That would be the area in which we emerged. Indeed. Let's take ourselves in back there and find this void scent, preferably before it, preferably before its fellows make a meal of it. Is it just, it could just be a random, like, spirit monster, like those ghost heads? The evil spirit type things? The dungeon, then. Troyan Knight? I can't survive without someone to give me ether, but where or where will I find a new master? Again, more of that sense of just a survivor's... Like a... Like an... an Anarchy in the most negative senses of the word, like just the strongest being able to, to take control and everyone's so dependent on just basic survival and struggling to get it. Brand doorkeeper. Pray we caught her weakened in the dungeon before being served up to the mitra. mistress. Tenderizing, she called it, and that's the way she used to like it. How badass are you? Oof. Poppy. Woof, girl. What a, oh, my. Can I pet the dog? Can you pet the dog in this game? It's just kind of shaking. It's kind of vibrating. Troyan manservant. It's just, it's so wild that we get to come back through here and just talk to the minions we defeated before. Some of them. Oh, there's only the one dungeon here. We call it the fourth. The mistress's orders. Is it, this, either, either there's, I don't know why there's, I don't know whether there's in-game reasoning for this or whether it's just a homage to Final Fantasy IV. But the mistress is gone and her orders with her. Rats can infest this castle for all I care. Just look at you. You're so friggin' cool. I just, I... It's wild to me that we get to go back through here. We just get to talk to them. Roy and Jailer. No one comes and goes from this dungeon without permission. For you, though, I'll make an exception. Go on. Thank you. Do you have a mouth? So, yeah, you do. Troyan Warden. Food for the mistress's consumption is kept in this, these cells. If the mistress devoured, we're free to help ourselves. But the clever one is strong. Another warden went in to devour the clever one, but he hasn't come back out. So why was the clever one caught in the first place? Did it allow itself to be caught? Appears to be someone within. Dark robed void scent. I couldn't get a glimpse of it before I walked in. Before the scene changed. Oh, of course, it's the friggin' uh, Zeno. Okay. It's Zenos' buddy, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm about one season into My Hero Academia now. I'm loving it. But seeing a hands on faces is also creeping me out. You. Me. You want to find. <laughs> yeah, that's how he referred to it internally, and that's how this person knows it. Yeah, this creature knows it. Yep. You're the void sent bound to Zenos. I mean, 
hopefully we can, th they'll understand that I mean bound in the past sense. That you had been bound, you're not currently, you're not, you're the void sent bound to Xenos, not currently bind, binded to Xenos. No, no, chill. It's fine. It's okay. I think it's okay. I see it now. The bottomless darkness. The insatiable hunger. The aura was present when we faced him in Garlemald. How did it come to be here? When Xenos died, its connection to the source was severed. It was forced to return to the void. Yeah. 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 Xenos. Yeah, it's not showing any signs of aggression. I would put the weapons down. Yes, that was his name. And you are the friend, are you not? I, I am. Yeah. What's going on? Is that Heidelin's crystal? It is. It sounds like it sounds sad, like a lost puppy. Is it hurting it? Well, we do know that the Void was just a world before it was twisted. They weren't born demons, most of them anyway, I don't think. But how? <laughs> I, I'm... <laughs> the light just now, of course. And thus I am returned. So you were just, you were just a person. You were just a person who was... Turned into a void scent, you had the hunger of a void scent, and this cured you? What do you mean, returned? Who are you? Are you a ghost? Are you... I was no. Once bound to the man named Xenos. You're physical. His avatar, until you killed him. Avatar. As in the void sent servants of Reapers. Yeah. In the name of his hunt, Xenos took up that traditional Galian art. And through it, he forged a covenant with a being of the void to lend him strength. And in return, so the covenant was he got strength and the, the, the being got passage to the source, I guess. And if they're so... Hmm. Covenant? A curse, more like. Ah. He stole my power. There was no equity in the arrangement. Boy, am I glad I'm not a Reaper in, in Reaper mode right now, because that would feel awkward. My very essence was altered, twisted into a tool to serve his desires. Were you not a Void sent beforehand? Your previous appearance. This is your true form, then. Perhaps, perhaps not. What does it matter? That's a little sus. Indeed. Sorry, Pigeon. It doesn't. Regardless of your form, you are a void sent by nature. So answer me this. Are you our enemy too? In this world, only a fool would attempt to devour a stronger being. Seems to be the case. And though it was as an avatar, I lost you once, I have no desire to lose again. I believe her. Good enough for me.
Now, you will answer me a question. Xenos called you friend. That's what you are? A friend? I think our status on Facebook was it's complicated. Whatever Xenos may have said I wasn't his friend, I'm not going to do that. Not to you, at least not yet. I don't want to do that. That feels like it's putting up, actively putting up walls when there's no need. Strictly speaking, I'm Kakushu Kushu. Let's go with that. I have neutral. So, you're not a friend. Then... What is it? What is a friend? I'm not sure. I feel like you and Omega should hang out. This is a very strange encounter. This is not what I was expecting from this. I thought that was going to be a mastermind. I was. I thought that was going to be Z friggin' Zemus. That was my prediction. Was that this was going to? Was that that was going to be Zemus, Zeromus, the power behind Golbez? I don't know what's happening now. No, I do know what's. So this is another thing about Scarmiglione from Final Fantasy IV is the guy never friggin' died. He would die, he would come back, he died again, he came back. We may not be done with... That hiss tells me we may not be done with him is what I mean. We also may be done with him. That may have been a different hiss, but one of Scarmiglione's qualities was that he was kind of zombie-ish. He just kept kept coming back from, from hell and from the dead and all these other forms. Venus's avatar, what are the odds? I'm glad we found someone who can do more than moan for ether. That's... I think that feels vaguely rude. I don't, I don't know why. I'm like protective of the void scent. When I serve... Also, can we talk about the style on this dark-robed void scent? Like, like, <laughs> I'm just, this is so, okay. Okay, I'll keep going. I'm sorry. I'm not really not sorry. When I served Xenos, his mind, my mind was shrouded in haze, but one thing was always clear. His obsession with the friend. What the word means, I do not know exactly. I only know it referred to you and that yours was an important existence. You have anything else to say, Warden? Seems the clever one did for my fellow Warden after all. I knew it was a bad idea to go in this cell. Yeah, so she's clearly strong. She's got some, some might, some gumption, some game. Looking if there's anyone else to talk to. No, not really. Anything else in the cell? I don't think so. How did you get captured? I guess you're not... She doesn't seem aggressive. Much as one might expect the unexpected, I doubt any of us could have foreseen this turn of events. I sure as hell did not. She seems different from the other Void Scent, at least those we've met. And the change we witnessed, I suspect, is due to your crystal purging the excess darkness within her. Even so, she still harbors a great deal of darkness. She comes from the friggin' world, yeah. I'm very keen to hear what she can tell us about herself and her world. So am I. Give me that beef stroganoff. Excuse me. Finally cleared out some beef stroganoff room. Van Daniel and Xenos have been ended to my added, and the Asians have been added to my unending codex. Okay. So I'm I'm just reading through the these no codices, and the Xenos and Van Daniel ones didn't tell me anything new, but I'm just looking at the name list of the Asians. So we got of the unsundered at least. Logriff. Mitron, we know them. Emmet Selk, we know. Pashtarot, I don't know who that is. Ultima, Halmarut, 
Deo Dalafon, Emerololf. Those I don't know. So there's still a bunch I, I might have seen or heard briefly, but they don't ring a bell for me. Okay. Where everything begins, the dark robed void scent regards you questioningly. So I doubt you came to the dungeon by pure chance. What is it that you're after? Barshan, we were looking for a void scent with whom we could converse, in the course of which we learned of you. We are visitors to this world and know little and less of its workings and ways. We'd be grateful if you could tell us about it, about yourself. So it's information you seek. I feel I have a feeling that pacts may come into this. What do you all, yeah, a, a next friggin' next, the exact next sentence. What do you offer for it? What do you want? I beg your pardon? Void sin do not give unless we stand to gain. You desire something, you pay the price. That is the sole rule in this world you call the void. That makes sense. Pray forgive our ignorance. Barshan, this is why I love you. You immediately, you're not like, you're not like trying to teach her about the, the value of generosity or like, thank you for educating me on the customs and, uh, you know, just for teaching me about this world. But what would be acceptable as payment? I suspect that such coin as we carry has no value here. Yeah. Voidson just crave ether. In return for my inform information, I offer you m mine. Wait, what? In return for information, I offer... Oh, Ishtola's saying that. In return for information, I offer you mine. Just not all of it, mind you. I still have need of my life. Very well. I will tell you no more than you can afford to pay. And we have a bargain. Are you sure Ishtola should be the one doing this? That feels like a mistake. Like, Ishtola is the one who's already eating into her ether regularly through her... Uh, through her trying to see despite her eye thing. Shouldn't it be me or Varshan or Estinian? And everyone else is just cool with it. Okay. We're to talk about the void. Let us do so outside. Come with me. What swagger? This is where I belong. My home. This endless darkness you call the void. What do you call it? There was once light here, and it shone its warmth upon creation. The lands were green and the seas were blue. Life flourished. And you remember it. How old Before are you? The war. The Contra Memoria. The Contra Memoria. Something to destroy his memories? It must have been a terrible war indeed. It shattered the balance, causing darkness to engulf the world. And this was the... Because this was a long time ago. It was the thing that was caused by the very first Asian attempt. All life was transformed into monstrosities. Void scent. I just look at her style. Oh man, I love this character already. We are the natural order now. As light begat sin eaters, darkness begat void scent. The sun was driven from the sky as fleeting day yielded to endless night. In time, even land and sea lost their distinction. And though the spark of reason had died in us, driven by memory's shadow, we formed factions and carved out domains. Driven by memory's shadow. I'm just thinking again of that, what they call, what she called the war, the Contra Memoria. This castle, for instance, its erstwhile lord must have abided in such a place once upon a time. If I may, the darkness in you is too much for any man to harbor. To my eyes, you are indeed a void scent. She's not disputing that. Yet your knowledge of the past and your demeanor mark you apart from your brethren. You are different. That much is plain. But in what way, I am unsure. 
As you say, I am void sent, but only in part. The darkness touched my mother when the war had only just begun, when I was still in the womb. Mm. As a child, I looked like any other, but darkness coursed through me, and I ceased to age when I become a woman grown. Okay, that makes sense. But that was then, and now, I may as well be one in full. I prey on the weak and serve the strong. I live to survive. Nothing more. Forgive me. It was not my intent to pry. I realize, too, that I have neglected to ask your name. Yeah, okay. As we say mortal, you may call me Void Scent. That is liable to cause confusion. If you are not averse, we would address you by your true name. I wonder if it's going to be... This is just a kind of an idle wonder. I wonder if she's going to be like, my name is Fusoya. Or if it's going to be like... Or if it's going to be, uh... You know, my name is Kluya. With Cleo, something like that, or if it's going to be um, something four related. And call me what you will. I care not. Because they're building up to like a name reveal. Oh, no, she, she, maybe she's saying she just doesn't know her name? How about Zero? Zero. So she's saying that she, I was, because I thought they were asking like what her name before was, but I guess she's saying that I, I, it, we don't have one, so just call me whatever you want. Okay. Meaning nothing. A name as fitting as any. That would be kind of no, mean, more meaner nothing, than that. But rather a beginning. For it remains to be seen what you will become to us. I'll accept that. As I said, I care not. Zero, then. I feel like if we could see above her hat, we might see little, little goth blushies under there. Here's to a fruitful partnership. I think it's a nice name. You know what? We're going to try to go full on power of friendship here. I think it's a nice name. I guess both of those are power of friendship. A name is a string of sounds. Its meaning has no bearing on my nature. It has meaning on how others interpret your nature and react to your nature. Well, Zero, while there is no end to the questions we could ask, it is only fair that we tell you our purpose in coming here. Is she going to be okay with that? That sounds like a gift of information. We are searching for a dragon. One who came to your world long ago. I guess they'd be okay with accepting gifts. They just, there's nothing that says, they're not like the Fae, the fae uh, where they need to have something, you know, equal, taking an equal giving. They just don't want to give anything away for free. A dragon. Yes. Ajdaya is her name, and she is my sister. If you have any knowledge of her, I beg you, share it with us. I saw that up there. I wasn't sure if it was part of the background already. Did you say something? No. So, the Final Fantasy IV specifically, the thing I'm thinking of is you, you're on a bridge in at the top of a mountain, and you fight Scarmiglione at the top of it. He summons zombies at you. It's a whole fight. You beat him. Or in my case, you lose to him a bunch, and then you beat him. Um... If you keep going across the bridge, he then back attacks you um, by saying, like, this is my true form. You know, death can't stop me or I am death. Made, death has only made me more powerful. And then you have another fight and he hisses like the whole time as a warning sign. That's why I'm pretty sure this is Scarmiglione. I thought I heard a voice as well. The keening of void scent, perhaps.
Hmm. How much fan art is there of Zero at this point? Hopefully a lot. Beginning a curious notion in a world where all has come to an end. It's come to an end of sorts, but it's still going. You're still going. Shtola. Okay. Just a trick of the wind, yeah. Not out of the ordinary. I should like to hear more from Zero. Me too. I can't imagine there are many part void scent like her who can remember remember the world as it was. She does seem unique. I must say we are rather exposed here. Perhaps we should continue the conversation within the castle. And so is Xenos, uh, not Xenos, is um, Golbez like the former lord of this place? Like someone from the old, trying to maintain some vestige of the old ways before the, like of however they lived beforehand? I don't know. Does he blame us? If so, why? Varshan, the throne room is defensible given its few points of ingress. Let us head back there. Moving wasn't part of the bargain. I'll comply, but I expect my payment promptly. We'll have it as soon as we've arrived. Is she going to, like... I don't quite see how this is going to continue. Is she going to, like, vampire nibble, uh... Ishtola, I, I mean, God, I'm sure there's fan art of that. Um, I don't know what she's going to do to, to, to feed on Ishtola. Of course, upon proceeding, several cutscenes will play in sequence. And there's a battle. This place is as good as any. Let me have the ether now. Very well. Kukushu looks suspicious. Ah. Yeah, welcome back, friend. Ah, that I should miss my mark. That fiend again? But we struck it down, watched it die. Yeah, welcome to Scarmilione. <laughs> Fools. Death doesn't exist in this world. Not even for him? I, am I mean, not for anyone? That's really interesting. Death doesn't exist. Okay. Of course, in the first, the power of light, of passivity, prevents life from emerging in the empty. Power of light, of passivity, prevents life from emerging in the empty. So in the 13th, the power of darkness, of activity, of pure activity prevents life from ever not emerging. It, it, it just keeps it churning and churning whether it wants to or not. But in the 13th, the power of darkness, of activity, prevents life from finding rest, even should soul be separated from flesh. Boy, this sounds so much worse than the first. So unless one's essence is absorbed by another, it is possible to return again and again. So... Can we, as payment to get Zero on our side, um, defeat Scarmilione and then be like, you know, dinner is served and Zero just like noms his essence? Hopefully. That seems like a good win-win solution for, I mean, he doesn't win, win, but still. It is reminiscent of that creature. Waters at the memory. 
How would he know about... Also, I like the little plants on, on Scarmilione's head. I didn't see that before. That's a neat touch for the Fiend of Earth. Um, how did... This can't just be a lie, because how does he know about... I mean, he, I guess he could have overheard, because he was watching us. I don't know. What? What? I must devour you too. Yes, I must. I don't think he's lying. I don't think he's lying. Is he going to go zombie mode? I mean, summon a bunch of zombies? Just a bunch of, well, voids and pawns. Oh, that's one of those uh, Final Fantasy Tactics demons. If it's another death they want, I say we give it to them. But we also have our own, we're our own vacuum cleaner right here. Where are you going? <clears throat> if you could lend us a hand, we'd be much obliged. And we'd pay you with their ether. That you would. But you already owe me a debt. And until you make good in it, I won't lift a finger. It's fair. <laughs> You're just gonna sit there with her arms crossed. But know that if you lose, I'll help myself to your ether. I love Zero. I love everything she chooses to be. I love everything about her. I saw the gem on his head. I just saw the, the brown gem on it, like the earthy gem on his head. Okay. I wonder if uh, Kinazo, Barbaricha, and Rubicante will have the same sort of gem for their colors. All right. Let's do this. Ooh. And... In this domain serves me now. I don't think that's true. It does. It does. There does. There. I'm trying. I'm doing some DPS. Then let's see these guests on their way. Jokes on you. I actually love this music, and so the more guests you bring, the longer the fight takes, the happier I'll be. Behold the power of the of Earth. Look at his portrait. Means to resurrect them again. I. Uh, I mean, what's our plan to actually win this? That's a. It, like we can beat them for a little bit, but. Yeah, I don't know how we. we are it certainly seems that way. I'm sure there's a uh, South Park Warcraft joke in here. Struggle and slaughter all. How do I'm trying? This it does. Our foe has too great an advantage. What's your plan? Drag him out of this damnable feast. Yeah, I how do we we have to drag him out of oh oh we have to bring the What like bring the ads away? Because he's just gonna He's just gonna resurrect them wherever they are. Huh. Yeah, I I don't know what the what the way around this is. Yeah. That's not how I expected that to go.
I get the sense he's not running out of energy anytime soon for resurrections. When will you learn? No matter what you do, you cannot hope to win. You never know until you try, and I'm always happy to experiment. Sassy cat girl. Zero. Is there no way to stop them from coming back? Did you not hear the bargain thing? There is, but I have no reason to share it with you. <laughs> See something. You got this. I believe in you. You know, Zero, you do owe us for one thing. Killing Xenos? Freeing you? Your name. That too, I guess. You'll have your promised ether, but we are owed compensation for your name. Well played, Ishtola. <laughs> A name for which I did not ask. You didn't refuse it. You said you was okay. Were you okay with it? I nevertheless did accept. There you go. So she's able to slice them in such a way that leaves a crystal behind. Hopefully that crystal can be her snack. It's funny that the ta Final Fantasy Tactics demons are among the group that gets crystallized. Well now, that's quite the trick. Look at that color palette they use for her. That's not standard Reaper color palette either, is it? Or is it, you know, maybe it is. Maybe it's that purple and white that makes me think that kind of that it's not quite the Reaper color palette. Because I know their special, um, their special splash, the spooky slash, um, is like that bluer color, but this is different. Satisfied? Completely. Huh. <laughs> Come, my friends. With Zero's aid, we can defeat him. What have you done? Welcome to the power of friendship. Now that I think on it, you owe me a debt as well. You may have missed your mark, but I won't miss mine. That's right, he made an attempt on your life, didn't he? Or you were at least part of the... Yeah, I know, he did. I'm not sure who he was going for, but she certainly believed he, he was he was definitely going to kill her, whether he was she was his target or not. Talk to Zero. No, too late. Okay. Scarmilione so part two. A debt is a debt. I will repay it here and now. She can turn void scent into crystal. So that's kind of a big deal. You will tremble before my truth strength. Why did oh shit, I didn't I just jumped back into the void. Does he sound at all like Oh shit, uh how? I, I don't know how I should attend to the minions. They're not targetable. Are they? No, they're not targetable. Oh. Thank you. More. I need more servants. Yeah. Is it just me or does he sound... Does Scarmilione's voice sound at all like... Um, uh, like S Stewie from Family Guy? Blighted Buffet. Is that a knockback? Or is that just to get out? If it's a knockback, I don't know how to deal with it. Got you. 
I thought the I thought it was gonna I thought this, is this a death wall? Let's see if it hurts me. What's the debuff? Toxicosis. Okay, yeah. So it's a, oh, I probably shouldn't have stood in there. I don't know why I tested that out. That was silly. Like, is it its own power? I don't know. Lighted sweep? Yeah, it's a frontal cone. Or I think it is. Yep. Pathetic. Useless. Curse bind. Uh. We cannot win without zero. We must help her. Ah, shackle. We have to break the shackle before uh, Blighted Swathe gets off. Oh, uh, finish it off. Okay. Ooh. Another debt to repay. That's right, you owe us. And I couldn't be happier. His voice actor, it's just, it's perfect Scar Milione. This magic. We must stop him now. Everyone, to me. Okay. Cursed noise. I cannot, I will not lose. This is, this is just so cool. This is just so cool. Zero, my hero. Is she going to crystallize you? What? My flesh? Why won't it heal? What is the meaning of this? Is it something about her scythe? She's, she's definitely special. This is not a, apparently not a normal void scent the thing. Seal, ether, and crystal. <gasps> Memoria. But how? How can you have this power? Because Contra Memoria apparently would have destroyed the ability to Memoria. Death has no place in this world. We are beyond it. And yet... Ah, Lord Golbez, you have sent me to my doom. Curse you and your wretched flattery and this abominable fate. It's got to be a little bit of a relief though, right? So these she can keep, right? Because I want her to have these little, like, fruit roll-ups. Are we going to see the, the meeting? Because Golbez is flattery, so Golbez somehow won, it, won Scarmilione over. With flattery. Yeah, there's the four colors, the four fiends. Oh, they were just void sent. They were just random void sent that he empowered. Sure seems like it. You are welcome, seekers of might. I, Golbez, have called you for hither. A voice. I, who would see us triumph in the coming crusade. 
that I may entrust you with command of our armies. Yes, yes, but one of the crew is gifted. In exchange for our loyalty, we are to feast on the finest ether. Shifty void sent. And so you shall, for if you are to serve me, you must be strong. What crusade? What's we your... Honor the pact and pray. We are not disappointed. We got Barbaricha there. Very well. Behold. Savage horns. It pulses with life. Such a vibrant ether. Oh no, wait. So if death has no place here, has this thing just been has um has Ajdaya just been condemned to being an eternal snack? This Coming back and again and again? Only come from beyond the veil. Dignified void sin. That's Rubicante if ever I heard. Yeah, so... But no, because once it's absorbed, then it's gone. Like, once it's eaten, it's gone. It's only one... If it's killed... My understanding is that if it's killed regularly, it's... It can... The cat can come back the very next day. But if it's eaten, then it's just... It's gone, or it's absorbed. It's part of the thing that ate it. Indeed. Feast, my friends. Feast. And arise as my four arch fiends. As they are now, they can consume but a fraction of the dragon's ether. So this is how they're going to leave the open the possibility of, of Ashdaya and the probability, the almost certainty that Ashdaya is still alive. Just as well, the creature may yet serve other ends. Are you all right? No, you won't be shortly. The Void Sense essence remains, but it has been sealed away, transformed into crystal. Memoria. Scarmelione called them. When was was Memoria a place in Final Fantasy IX? It was, right? Or was it Final Fantasy VIII? I think IX. I take it they are connected to the war of which you spoke. Aye, their use was central to the Contra Memoria, hence its name. And to my knowledge, the transformation is permanent. So it's not, they just, they weren't just turned into like grape popsicles that you can eat their ether of. They were, there's something else. What do you do with it? I see. We thank you for coming to our aid. I repaid a debt. And in doing so ensured that I received my own due compensation. Which I shall have now. Yes, yes. I still have work to do. So I would thank you not to get carried away. She's being very casual about this. I have sucked one year of your life away. Tell me, how does it feel? Apparently feels okay. Ether is the coin of choice. I appreciate the simplicity.
That makes us even, I trust. Because we regenerate ether, right? Over time. Like, it's not... I think we regenerate ether. Almost certainly. No, I'm 100% sure what? we do. When you picked up the crystal, you experienced a vision, did you not? So we're basically big old money trees. I guess you could go to a blood, da blood bank and call yourself a money tree in the same way, but... We're very literally like money money trees in this place. We like we literally grow what they consider coin. That sounds sustainable. I wonder if there's something some longer term a way to aid the void that way, like using those pig things. Uh, right then, when you picked up the crystal, you experienced a vision, did you not? Me 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 A dragon resembling a great Wyrm. I dare to hope that it was Ashdaya. Hope is an interesting choice of words in this context. Even as it pains me to think she's been made to suffer. Yeah. For the ambitions of this goal bears. We've been given much to consider. Let us take a moment to review what we know. Hmm. There is nothing like the ether of a living mortal. I haven't felt so satisfied since my return. I'm glad to hear that. We vanquished one of Golbez's archfiends, but three remain. As troublesome as this one, I expect. Probably more so. Judging by, you know, the other game. If Ajdaya, if Golbez has Ajdaya at his mercy, we must find him. Hopefully Zero has knowledge that will aid us in our search. And hopefully the price she charges won't be too steep. In light of our recent experiences, I expect we all have questions. I trust Zero can answer some few of them. We should still be able to at least that much, I dare say. Yeah. That's going to be it for me for today, I think, then. Um, this was awesome. This whole thing is awesome. Uh, next time, we will continue with... Just look at this place. With learning more about Zero and the Contra Memoria, hopefully. I think it's a safe bet. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to... Just let me know how you felt about it if you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, pretty much, certainly much appreciated. It helps uh, spread the video. So I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.